Let's get homeschooled with Mark Malusis and Sal Licata. And Moose, the Mets have lost four of their last five against the Nats, who are now just three games back in the division. So how concerning is their play against Washington in particular? Well, against Schwarber. Uh, I mean, yeah, I mean, they breathe life into the Nats a little bit. And I, I think you got to be a little careful. I mean, Sal and I talked a little bit about this last week. I, I, you know, I don't have great fear about the teams that are behind them. You look at the Phillies, you look at the Braves, who are all banged up. You look at their their lineup as well. Washington, you know, showing you a little bit of life here. Um, you know, and, and the Mets are dealing with some injuries. So I'm not overly concerned about anyone ch uh, chasing this team. I think it's more about what this team does. But if you're going to pick any of the ones that are trailing them, yeah, I think Washington Washington, especially when you look at Schwarber, who's got 24 home runs, they've got a professional lineup, you know what they have in that starting rotation. That would be the team, I guess, right now, uh, here in late June, getting ready for, a, you know, July 4th holiday weekend that you have a little fear about. Well, the frustrating thing is they should be burying this team. You mentioned it. Those teams aren't that good in the National League. It's not about the Nationals or anybody else. It's about the Mets. They should be pulling away here. And instead, they lose four or five and let the Nationals back in it. And Rojas can talk about Walsh Schwarber's not only doing it against us. Yeah, well, you know what? He's dominating. I don't care what he does against anybody else. The guy hit seven homers in three games here. He's crushing you. Figure out a way to get him out. The Mets have, look, they all, all they need to do is win this one. Forget about losing three or four. Win the one makeup game. And that would have just made up for it would have kept their lead nice here heading into the final week of the before the all-star break and no they lose four or five they struggled in the division they were fortunate to get a split with both atlanta and philadelphia so the mets are playing bad baseball at a time where they should be pulling away from these lousy teams in their division they're letting at least one in the washington nationals back in and with their pedigree and what they did in 2019 in that lineup that could be a dangerous thing Another thing, Sal, the Mets had three errors Monday night, two on one play from Travis Blankenhorn that led to Ryan Zimmerman's three run blast in the eighth. Are these issues defensively fixable in your opinion? Yeah, move the guy back to second base. Stop this nonsense in double play situations. How many times do I have to watch the same stuff? Blank and Horn, McNeil, guys cutting over in Lindor's face. Get back on your side of the bat. Clearly the Mets and their analytics, right? It's helped this year. Well, this is a time where it is position wrong. There's no need for Blank and Horn to be there, specifically in double play situations. I am tired of see seeing it. It's not the reason they lost the ball game, but how many times do we have to see this same nonsense with guys where they should be turning double plays, cutting Lindor off, butchering the ball, and it ends up costing the Mets. It's sloppy, and they need to fix it. Yeah, I mean, the spacing's off. Now you've seen it twice in a week, right? Gary was talking about during the course of the broadcast, once against the Braves and Darby Swanson, then you see what transpired, you know, which led to the Zimmerman big three-run bomb that blows the game open against Castro. Now Castro is terrible as well. So, I mean, you look at it overall, we can look at that defense and you can look at the shift and, you know, where are you going to put an emphasis on, right? Trying to get the single out or you're trying to turn the two. So I, I think it's got to look at, I think it's got to be the spacing and clearly, you know, it was a bad error. I get that. I understand it but you know that's not the reason why they lost the game the defense this year and the positioning has been really really good it was a concern coming out of Port St. Lucie I have bigger concerns than I do about this Mets defense clearly that's not a good look because he had an opportunity to maybe steal one late but clearly you know the defense was an issue there it really hasn't been this albatross of an issue for the Mets this season